All right, in a previous video, I showed how to set up JavaFX with uh, JavaFX 11 or even 15 uh, with um, the Java JDK version 14 on IntelliJ, uh, the 2020 edition of uh, IntelliJ IDEA. So now let's take a look at what happens if you want to make a chart, a graph in Java, and you don't know where to start, so you're going to grab a graph off the internet somewhere, some some code for doing a Java JavaFX graph off the internet. So I've, I've found one on here. It's from the Oracle website. This is the uh, the URL right here. So docs oracle com uh, JavaFX two charts line chart dot htm. Okay, and it was written by Ms. Ala Redko. Okay, so here we go. So it's a line chart. That's uh, looks like a nice kind of chart. And it says creating a line chart, and, and this is what I need to install. So what I got to do is I got to set up my IntelliJ project. So I'm going to go and do that. Um, I'm going to do new project. I'll bring it over in a sec. There we go, right over here. So I choose Java FX. I'm using uh, Java 14, right like that. I've chosen Java FX. I go next. So I'm going to go uh, Java FX chart. I'm going to call it Feb 2021, like that. Finish. I'm going to do it uh, in a new window. So I just chose this one. I'll just drag it over right here. Okay. So now what I have to do is I have to go and uh, project structure. It's uh, Java 14. SDK, that's that. Libraries. I have to choose from Java. I need to choose the right Java SDK, so Java FX SDK 11, that one right there, and lib chosen. Okay, so that's selected. I go OK. Now, next up, I go over here to, whoops, project, source. Whoops, let's cancel that source sample main all right so that's all good right there and i should be able to compile it and it should work now the other thing i need to do is i need to set up the virtual machine and the virtual machine is done let's see just get that in a sec there's a web page i gotta grab um, All right, so create a new Java FX project. And this is the, sort of the, um, the instructions I've been working with. So I've added the library. Now I want to add VM options. And so basically it's gonna boil down to this line right here. Okay, and then I gotta modify. I gotta insert it and modify it. So I've compiled the basic Hello World Java FX project once. Now I need to go and modify the configurations. All right. Um, and I can do VM options right here, or I can go up to run, edit configurations, and then uh, VM options here. Now, if it turns out that, uh, that you don't see this particular version of the window in your version of the IDE, there might be a blue, uh, like add, um, uh, modify something, modify settings up right here. And then you click on that and then the option for VM options appears. Anyway, I paste it in, but I just copied off the IntelliJ web page or the JetBrains web page. And I have to modify this part right here. This is the path to the Java uh, FX SDK. So on a Mac, um, let's see, it's it, it'd be like users and then uh, my username. On Windows, it would be like C colon and then uh, whatever folder you've placed the SDK into. So in this case, it's documents and then it's Java. Let me just check to see what it is. Yeah. Let's sort of see it right here. I'm gonna copy that there and then lib 
because there's my lib right there. Okay, so that's all done. Users, J yep, that should be fine. Okay, so now I compile it again. That should work. Now I'm going to run it, and a little window should pop up that says hello world on it. Almost there. And then once that's done, I've confirmed that it works. Now we're going to grab the chart sample and we're going to put it on. Okay, so hello world worked. That's fantastic. So let's just get rid of that. Now we're going to have to change this right here, this this uh, main method, or sorry, main class right here. Um, there's the main method right there. So we got to copy and paste in not the button example, this one right here. Okay, so this is the simple line chart example right here. We're gonna grab the imports. Let's put that in right there, all right? Now, immediately you'll see that some of the, the imports turn uh, light gray, and that means they're unused at the moment, but we're gonna keep them in. And then down here, I don't need to change the name of the class it's already named and it already extends the application right there. So the next we have to do is this. We have to copy everything else that's inside of that class. Okay, so I just go like this, like that. So I've pasted it in and it's between one curly brace there And, oops, oops, hold on, let's grab that again. Right, so that right there is the start method. I need the start method. I think I did this wrong. Oh no, I think I got it, but let's just paste it in again. All right, so I got the start method and let's just make sure that this curly brace there lines up with the start of the method brace above there. Oh, hold on, let's see it highlight again. You can see at the top of my window, it says override public void start stage start. And then that curly brace in teal that sort of links the two together right there. So we know that the beginning and end are there. Then just down below, I have my main method right here. And that looks like the same main method call right there. The same main method, not the call, but the same main method right there. Okay. So it looks good. Excellent. So let's compile that, make sure it works. It's compiling. Ah, looks like build completed successfully in seven seconds. Right, now let's run it. And bingo, done. So it doesn't look like what was shown on the web page, but basically what you've got is a, a graph with a line on it and a bunch of dots that show the data points. Let's just change one of those data points. I'm going to close that right there because this is basically a Java app in my computer right now. Okay, so let's go and we're going to say, um, let's put a hashtag here, number of, and we're going to call it the month like that. So that's an x-axis label right there. We got a, um, a title. We're going to say my super line chart sample and let's um, let's change some of the data points right here. So we see the X values, one, two, three, four, five, et cetera, like that. Let's make that um, zero, one, two, three, four, like that. All right, and then what we're gonna do is we're going to recompile it, and then we will run it one more time, and we should see that there are changes made to the graph based on what we just did. So I'm gonna run that now. Okay, we 
can see that this is now changing. It's compiling, it's running, and let's take a look at our graph. Yes, there we go. There you can see the data points have changed. The, uh, the title on my graph has changed. It's now my super line chart sample. And then that hashtag of the month on the x-axis label is right there. Uh, I am currently missing an, a y-axis label and that should get added in. But, uh, but there we go. So we've now got a chart that we've, we've taken a sample off the internet. We've inserted into IntelliJ and you can see that it works. And now we can modify it to our heart's content. So we can see that we can grab these examples, we can work with them and, um, and we can learn using them. Okay, so later on we're going to explore what all of the, the different features inside of that uh, source sample actually mean and what they do. Take care everyone.